Welcome to Alice in Mathland! Today we are going down the rabbit hole with two first graders. Let's go over to Alice to meet our first graders! Hello everybody up there outside of the hole. This is my good friend MH. MH and BH and we're here to solve three problems in order to have tea with the white rabbit and we're really going to try and have that tea today aren't we boys and girls? Yes. Are you ready? Woo! Yeah! Are you ready for the first challenge? Yes. We're ring it on! Say bring it on Mad Hatter! Bring it on Mad Hatter. I only heard one first grader. I thought that there were two on today. We better invite the Mad Hatter to read our problem. Bring it on! Let's do one, two, three. Bring it on, Mad Hatter. Bring it on, Mad Hatter! All right, here's your first question. Which of these pictures shows Gemma's hat? It has two buttons, or I think that's a button. It has two bow ties, and it has three flowers. So which of those pictures shows Gemma's hat? Here's my hand. Here's, you don't have to raise your hand. We're down the rabbit hole. You just have to talk about your thinking. Now, what we're going to do is give up. Uh, well, we're going to look at these hats, mm -hmm. and we're going to ask the Mad Hatter to give us those clues one more time. I need those clues one more time. Apparently, you don't. You already know which hat it is? Okay, well then, I would like to hear the clues one more time, Mad Hatter. It has two buttons. Hmm. Yeah, and? Do any of those other hats have two buttons? Yeah, which hat has two buttons? That one. B? And A, B and A, and All right. C. But Gemma's hat also has two bow ties. Two bow ties. That two hat. bow ties. C and B have two bow ties and two buttons. But Gemma's hat also has three flowers. Which hat is that? C. C, hat C, and why is hat C the hat that Gemma wears? Because it has three flowers, it has two buttons, and it has two bow ties. But I don't get it. Brent, B-H, D has three flowers. Didn't the Mad Hatter say three flowers? It yeah. said two of each and three flowers. Oh, so we needed to use our brain. Brain? <laughs> yeah. Well, that was good logical reasoning, and you eliminated the possible hats that don't work. Thank you very much. Did we get it right? Let's ask the Mad Hatter. Did we get it right, Mad Hatter? Yes, C is the correct answer. Yay! Woohoo! Yay! Woohoo! Welcome, boys and girls. I'm the Cheshire Cat. I have your next question. And this question deals with pumpkins. Oh. How many pumpkins do you see? Four. How many pumpkins do you see? That's easy. How many, BH? Four. Four. Okay. Four pumpkins. But how many smiles do you see? Four. Four. Four smiles? And how many triangles do you see? Uh-oh. Hmm. Eight. Eight. Hmm. Twelve. Is it eight or is it twelve? Why do you hmm. think it's twelve? M-H? I see eight triangles. Two, four, six, eight. Oh. They mean triangles, not just eyeballs. I know, I said 12. Oh, well how did you figure 12? Because I counted all of them. How did you count them? I went like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, 12, I think. What? Oh, okay, B-H, do you want to change your answer? K. 
can I? B H. That's B H. How many triangles do you see, B H? Eight. You see eight triangles. Where, where are they? I counted by twos. You counted by twos, and I think you're twelve. I count twelve. There's twelve. Okay. Um, I think this is exactly the confusion, and I love that we're wondering whether it's eight or whether it's twelve. Which shape is the triangle shape? How do you know that it's a triangle? Because it has th three points. Three points and? Three sides. Three straight sides. Will you count those for us? One, two, three. No, they mean like how many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like all of them. Three. Oh, you forgot them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <gasps> We've come to consensus. We see twelve Woo! triangles. Woo! Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. I totally got how we were a little bit confused on that. I was thinking the eyeballs. You but only the nose have is a triangle one more too. problem left, and that is by the Queen of Hearts. <sighs> Queen of Hearts, I hope she's nice. All right, boys and girls, you have to solve one <coughs> more problem in order to get to the rabbit. One more problem. Can you draw one li more line to make two equal triangles? Well, let's see. Here's a copy of what the queen sent by messenger. And look, we have some marking instruments. Let's reread the problem together. Draw one more line to make two equal triangles. What's an equal triangle? What are equal triangles? BH? I don't know. Do you MH? An equal triangle. What does equal mean? They're the same thing. The same thing. Can we put one line inside of that square? and create two triangles that look like the same thing? Yeah. Oh, this is a hard one. How many lines did you draw? Uh -huh. Oh! Let's see if we have another. Let me try a, here's a square. Now you can only draw one line in that square to chop it into two equal triangles. Wanna try again? Here's a square. Oh, this is hard. This is not hard. This is fun. One line. Where are you going to put oh, it? Oh, yeah. Where are you gonna put it? Right there. Let's look at it, BH. Did that one line create a triangle? Oh, I love this work. We're having a pretty difficult time. I wonder if you guys in um, outside the rabbit hole can figure out the solution to our problem. Here are some attempts. Hey, wait a minute. I think I see a pretty decent a solution. Which one best fits our problem? One line. We're picking this one. Let's see if we can make that little crookedy line straight. I'm pretty good at straight lines. Look what happens when we straighten out that line. We get two triangles and they certainly do look to be the same size and shape or equal in area. Good job. Let's ask the queen if we got it right. Queen, do you see a solution worthy of your majesty? I wasn't sure about that one. That one was extra tricky, but I think BH did solve it. Congratulations. Yay! Woohoo! BH, you saved the day. We get to drink tea. Uh -huh.